Guys, I didn't think I was going to do, like, any pre-intro stuff, but look at this right here. I figured instead I'd start in-game, and, like, instantly I'm captivated by all this crap that's going on, man. You see the little floaty station up there? We've got four of these dudes around us. Thunderstorm's going on! Guys, basically, if you can't get what I'm saying, this is pretty sick, okay? Let's get with the intro. So, what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Yes! And based on the sound of that sound, you can actually tell it's about to be a fire episode. Now, if you guys weren't here in the last episode, let me just go ahead and dip into the water. We finally made the sea truck after all the efforts we we went to. We didn't get to experience it though, you know? We're kind of saving it for this episode, and it's basically how we're going to start this thing out. Random observation though, I just kind of like when I zoom back, picture this on a body of a person, you know? Uh, hold up a sec. What about if I like position my character like here? Okay, you can actually clip inside. All right, if I do the free cam command, hold up a second, let me see. So if I zoom back. <laughs> Why have I got to break the game this way? What am I doing? You already know I'm about to Photoshop my face in there as well. So, um, yeah. Hopefully you're ready for this episode, guys. Uh -huh. Welcome back to some like Below Zero. Guys, if you like stupid stuff like that, you know, what do, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's take a chill for a second anyway. Let's go ahead and discuss what we want to get done for this episode. There is still a load of things with the last update we never even got a chance to experience. And I'm like, bro. But basically, guys, it looks pretty epic. So I'm going to start by boarding this thing. Let's do this. This is going to be the first time we try this thing out properly. Oh, yeah. It's good to be sat in this thing. One thing before we actually get on our little voyage, okay? Let me pop that guy away. Let's hop out of this thing. How do we make the different cargo things for the sea truck? Do we maybe need to scan it and then it'll tell us? Uh, okay, guess not. The last thing I thought was that when I went over to the different things that we have in the blueprints, we do now have the moon pool. And I'm almost thinking that if we build this, perhaps then we can add the stuff to it. If you see here, it says vehicle upgrades. We do have all of the different things to make it, but they're not appearing, I think, in the vehicle fragment bay thing, whatever you want to call this. Whatever I say, let me just go ahead and climb on board. Let's check our little LCD screen, okay? Give it a poke. And do we have the things to make it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we don't have anything. Listen, guys, you better go ahead and get comfy for a bit. I'll be back soon. So hold up a second. I'm almost thinking, what about if I do get the materials for this stuff and then see if it gives me the option to maybe make things? Wait, 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 because these are the vehicle upgrades, not the mobile vehicle bay itself. So there's no way to make the different compartments yet. That's the issue, because I want this thing to be like a freaking rectangular beast, you know? I want to store all my goods in it. How the freak am I about to do this bull crap, huh? Okay, why am I getting aggressive? Like, we're going to figure this out. Calm down. Another thing as well, I almost feel like this update is going to work in like a conjunction method. Like, you find the seed truck and... And there's also this new biome that I've been talking about and we haven't even seen it yet. Yes! It might make sense to find the fragments there, you know? So I think based on that fact, you know, continual progression, that's exactly where we're going to go ahead and go. And uh, why am I going this way? All right, let's do this. I love the fact that right now we don't even need to worry about oxygen. Uh, but hold up a second. I need to worry about the fact that I got no batteries, correct? Uh, let me just check. Pull this guy out and uh, exchange. Okay, we're good. Thank goodness for that. This is so clean, though, right now, you know? Being able to glide around, not worry about the O2, like starving ourselves and dying in the here. The only thing I'm a little bit conscious about is the depth that we have, which is 275. I think the new update branded the new area as deep, twisty bridges. So quite clearly, it's probably going to be past that depth. Maybe if we park this guy just on the surface of it, we can go underneath for the freak was that? What I'm thinking is we maybe park our vehicle on the edge of the deep twisty bridges and then we go on under and what the freak is with that mechanical ball? Look like, guys, I think I got that faulty sea truck right now. I do want a refund on this. Hey, here we go. Making it over to them twisty bridges and more specifically below this stuff, the deep twisty bridges, you know? Let me see how these dudes respond to the vehicle. Will they attack it? Let's get near it. Ooh, yeah, there's still aggression, so we don't want to get near them. Don't want to get this thing damaged up. It's in pristine condition. Got to keep it that way. It is seriously so clean, though, to be able to glide down here, look at things, not worry about passing out and all that bull crap. This is amazing. Can you guys please shut the freak up whilst I enjoy this epic moment? Now, guys, I'm going to have to pause up to say this next part, okay? So many of you guys in the last episode told me there's a new Leviathan-class creature you can spawn in. You already know I'm going to be checking that thing out. I love the creatures. Like, the thing about Below Zero and stuff like that and why I don't mind spawning the different monsters in... It's so early game, like, we don't know where we're going to find these leviathans, under what circumstance, so it's not really spoiling it, we just get to check out the monster design. I'm going to shut the freak up anyway, guys, because we're reaching these deep depths. Look at this. It's literally like the sand has, like, veins going through it, you know? Kind of spooky and very freaking laggy. Oh, man, this one is super duper laggy. Step down a little bit more. Ooh, I mean, one more thing, this is definitely the deeper twisty bridges, so I'm going to go out on a whim and say, yeah, we're here. Let's go down a little bit. Ooh. Okay, a little bit more. That depth, you know, we're going to play it safe in case this thing drifts. About here looks good to me. Here we go. Hop and out of this, dude. Woo. Look at this crap down here, though. Dang, it's so dark. What the freak is that? Hold up. What is this? Uh, hey, friendly. Can get that soundtrack, though. Hold up. Let me get close. Bro. <laughs> what the freak is that? <laughs> okay, I may be panicking a bit more. Don't know if that thing is safe. And Hello? What is this? Like a floating fragment or something? Uh, bro, what the freak are you? I literally go in the zone for one second, 
and I see this strange looking beast right here. What the freak? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, swap back out. Get out, get out. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna get back in here for a second. Let me just recoup. Oh my god. Is it chasing me though? Hold up. Bro, look at this. Oh my god. Okay, it's aggressive as well. That thing just did 14 damage straight up to my vehicle. My gosh. We gotta be very mindful of whatever that is. Okay. You already know I'm about to mess with that thing some more though. Hold up. All right, where did it go? It was like swimming around here somewhere. It's like disappeared completely. I know it'll be looming nearby somewhere. We'll keep our eyes peeled for it. And we'll just go from there. Look at this though. It's so dark. This was like maybe it's gonna be the area zone. <gasps> Wait, what is this? Hold up. This is what we need. Guys, this is it. The fabricator module. Nice. This is probably gonna be like the uh, base for one. So one of three. Good stuff. I see another one underneath here. You see that? Like wedged away. Okay, we see that. So this is your regular sea truck fragment. Hi. Wait. Oh, okay. That's for the vehicle, right? I'm being stupid. What is this? Can we poke it? Oxygen plant depleted. So that's what that is. Okay. What? Dude, there are some weird sounds down here. Okay. What is with these sounds? I feel like there's a second monster down here that I haven't seen yet. Let's go this way a little bit. Just don't want to get lost. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so that's what it is. Look at it. My gosh, the mouth on that thing. Whoa. Holy crap, dude. Okay, a squid shot. Scan it, scan it, scan it, scan it. Come on, get some work done. Oh my gosh, follow it. Right behind so it doesn't see ya. Come on, it's about this thing. Oh boy, yeah, this ain't good. Come on, finish it up, finish it up. Look, you know what? I'm gonna get back. Uh, the squid shark in the encyclopedia. I guess the mouth kind of confirms that's what it is. Up in this thing. Ooh. I'm gonna read about that thing before I do anything else. I'm getting nervous down here. Let's see what we're working with here then. So it's gonna be in the life forms. I would imagine this thing is probably gonna be a carnivore as well. The squid shark. It has no description as of now, but we can definitely see the threat level. That's pretty dang high. Yeah, basic rule of thumb, guys. You see one, run away. All right, let me just check my inventory. Got a first aid kit. Thank goodness for that. All right, we gotta find more of the fragments, though. That's what we're here for. And I also do still want to check this zone out, despite everything. Clearly, there's going to be dangers, though. Ooh. Okay, where's that from? Ah! Right there! My god, you can't avoid it, too! Look at this! Holy crap! They're so aggressive, like, chill! Dude, I'm going to dive deeper. I don't like it. How it just kind of lurks around you all the time, always following. Okay, give this thing a switch. Thank you. Whoa, it's like a network down here. What even is this? It's like a plant that's like hard and fossilized or something, maybe. Hmm. No idea what this once was. It's just one of those small dudes there. Look, small fry, get out of my face. Can we scan it? We can't. Okay, never mind. All right, any fragments down here, though? I'm not sure if there would be. It won't really make sense to uh, find them this slow. Oh, wait. Okay, I take that back completely. There's another one here. The fabricator module. This is the second one out of three, I believe. So get this good stuff. Look, bro, can you get out of my face? Seriously. Hang on. So if we travel this way a bit more... There's multiple of these, and they're sprouting from underneath. So I wonder if there'll be another layer down eventually, and we can see where these guys are coming from. Like, these don't look a part of this biome. This is the deep, twisty bridges, and this is a new thing entirely. Who knows? Who knows? Give me that oxygen plant once again. Wow, where even are we? We've traveled far, it feels. Maybe it's sleeping around, I'm not sure. All right, another module here. The fabricated one, so this will be the third and final as well. This is great. Give me that good stuff. Thank you very much. And I don't know why you show me a Seamoth game, so what the freak are you doing? All right, one down here. That's just the fabricator. So now we're looking for the different ones. Unless maybe there isn't any different ones down here, but perhaps around the place. All I've been able to find down here is the fabricator module. <sighs> Dude, just that guy lurking just as the sound drops as well. Yeah, good timing game. Uh, yeah, don't do it again though, please. Right, be wary of the oxygen too. Okay, hug this. Thank you very much. One more here. What is this guy? Looks like the fabricator storage module. This is another one we need then. So within this direction, this is where we find the other stuff. One of three. Good stuff. Wait, another one right here. Fabricator. Look, get out of my face. Don't want you. What the freak is that? Uh, yo, I saw you moving. You went about to fool me. What is this thing? It's like pulsing and stuff? Hey, give me that good stuff. The freak is this? Oh my... Stay! What is it? Oh, what? Get off. Get off, maybe? Um, what the freak is that? <laughs> yeah, look, this biome and what grows down here, nothing is natural. Quite clearly, what we just got attacked by, I can't remember where it was. I think it was somewhere over here. That's got to be a creature. It had, like, tentacles, and it fired it out towards you, grappled you in. So it probably would have, like, sucked you towards it and then attacked you or ate you or something. It's best not to think about it, guys. We got out, and that's the main thing. Now, where the freak these fabricator parts at? Oh, 
freak again. Ready, 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 ready. Get away from me, get away from me. Bro, it's just storage. Oh my God, come on. This place is insane. I can't get a break, man, I can't. All right, I need the storage module. Give me this, give me this, give me this. So all I need, I'm being attacked by everything and everything. Wait, what? Guys, same word, I can't think, leave me alone. All right, literally one more thing and I'm done, okay? Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on. There's no monsters nearby. Give me. Ready, guys? Ready? Ready? Ready, guys? I, I, I can't just, like, scan that in peace or something. You just, you have to interfere. You know, it's so close, but you just have to do it. Like, why? It's your problem. Why does everything hate me in this planet? All right, guys. We've done what we needed to do here. Yeah, I did just pee my pants, so you're right, game. Thing is, though, guys, we came here looking for two things, and we got the two things we needed. Low health, low food, low water. Don't matter. Well, actually, it probably does more so than actually finding the stuff, but you know what I'm saying. Guys, we're gonna get back home right now. We're gonna get things sorted. Let's make a start on what we need. Let's do this. All right, guys, so I just got back to base. Everything's looking good, apart from my health. I think the food and water may bring that up over time. Let's just climb on board a second. I want to see now if inside of this thing, this is where we make the different fragments. It is, you see? And they're not that difficult to make. All right, so plasteel ingot is lithium and titanium ingot. That won't be a problem to make at all. Looking at the other stuff too, that's pretty much the basic formula. We need a wiring kit for one, which is I think two silver, and then the computer chip for the other part. Okay, what the freak are we waiting for, you know? Let's get things moving as usual. <laughs> Let me see what I got in storage. A lot of quartz, a lot of copper as well. I have some lead here and also some silver. So can I make the advanced wiring kit now or something? Or is it just the wiring kit? Hold up, let me check. We can. I mean, we may as well do it. We know we're gonna need to eventually. Step one done. Now, a computer chip, I think, is a little bit more intensive with what you got to get for it. So, computer chip. Table coral sample, gold and copper wire. The only difficult thing really to find is the table coral, but maybe I'm just not looking in the right spaces. Again, an easy thing to do. I mean, you know what? Screw it, guys. Let's go ahead and get this adventure started. We know what we need to do. It's just now commit. I'm back in this thing. Like, you already know we're driving this thing for me to be. So, let me hop above the surface a second. That's the direction we want to go in. That's where the island is, where the uh, rocket is and such. If we head over to the thermal spires, I believe they're called, that's where you can find lead, gold, and all of the other stuff that we need. So what are we waiting for? All right, guys, so the adventure pretty much begins. So let's see, lithium off the bat. We know we need that. Some more silver ore. So I'm going to be scanning a lot of things like this for the titanium. You get two, I think, per fragment if you've already got it. I'm sure you do. So there we go. There's two right there. Another titanium. That's what we've got in here. Copper ore. Yeah, let me go ahead and check around here then for these table coral. I think they glow almost like a little bit red. So that's how you can spot them. Actually, notice that when editing, you see, you guys, like, that's the power of it. You get a second look at stuff. See what you missed. Right, here we go. Here's a piece. So give that a slash. Go ahead and take all these. Yeah, I think the drop rate for these is between three to four or something like that. Oh, dang, look at that. Packing out in the inventory. I right, get rid of two of those. I'm I mean, maybe I should go back to the base then, start making some things, and then we can return. In fact, you know what? Let's just get the last of the lithium. Maybe we could actually make the things before coming back again. Then we could have more storage space. Yeah, this makes sense. Lithium, lithium, lithium. Where might I find you on this pleasant rock face right here? <clears throat> okay, moving on. Wait, more fragments here? What is this? Look, what we got here? What is this? Aquarium module? Wait, what? So you can find a- <laughs> Wait, that's so cool. An aquarium module. All right, before we return, yeah, we're finding the last of these fragments too, man. I'm just saying. Right, there's another bit of lithium there. I think, is that one there? No, that's the uh, stone outcropping. I think we need one more then. And we are done with the lithium. Good stuff. It's just finding those other fragments then, which I haven't seen another one of. Makes me wonder, are they at maybe like a deeper depth or something? Or is there only like three and you've got to really search for them to find them? Yeah, guys, I can't find the last of the aquarium fragments. I mean, it's not 100% necessary, I guess. It's just a case of finding it and then we go from there. So what we're gonna do is worry about that for another day, I think. Not really any rush in finding those. I mean, we've got two more of the modules. Let's just see what we can do with that and go from there. All right, guys, made it back to base. We're gonna hop out of the vehicle. So let's see. Oh, wait, we're gonna make the plastic lingots first. I keep forgetting. I'm so anxious to skip the steps. You know what I mean? Look, let's go ahead and get this done though. So first of all, we need to make some titanium ingots, I believe. So we'll go ahead and do that. And titanium is like the most common thing you can find. So yes! like, no bother. Turn that then into that plastic lingot. Good stuff. There you go. There's one down. Can't quite make the second. We're one single titanium off. Uh, that does kind of suck. Then I think we needed the copper wire. Let me just check before I go ahead and commit. No copper wire. Lead. That's what we needed. Dang, I ain't got no lead. Are you kidding? Let me check in here. I got a singular lead. And that's it. Yeah, that really, really sucks, actually. All right, guys. We're back anyway. Are you kidding me? I find a lead outcropping and it gives me nothing again. Oh my god, these dudes getting mad as well by the fact that I'm disturbing all their stones. Hold up, see what's in here? There's the lead I need. All right, let's get out of here. One lead down. Please let me find the resources more commonly. Please. Another one here. Bro, the lead to titanium quantity in the lead outcroppings is like four to one. Come on, give me one. Thank you very much. And please say this is another one here. 
Come on. Yes, that's what I like to see. How about that? Come on, you gotta be hiding around here somewhere. In the smallest, darkest crevice. Reveal your location for 0.4 seconds. Whoa, look at the color of this dude here. It's like all red. Did not see that last time. Interesting. There's a let out cropping right here. Nice and quick. Come on. Why? All right, guys. So we're back for the second time now. It was a short trip. Let me see. Can I make the computer chip alongside other things? Don't think I can at the moment. What we will make, though, is this plastic ring got right out of the way. Okay, now in here, computer chip. Gold and copper wire. I think we got the parts in here to make that. Let's see, we definitely got the gold and the copper wire was true, though. So we're good. Hey, let's go. There's your computer chip. So now I've got two of the plastic lingots. Let me just see something here. Two of those. How many lead do we have? Do I have six total? Dude, I got six lead dead on. Are you kidding? Let me check my little item box as well. How many's in there? I open this good stuff up. Okay, we've got another lead in there if we really needed it and a couple of other stuff, but we're good. All right, this is the next step of creation though, man. This is where our little individual head helmet looking thing, this is where it becomes an actual functioning vehicle right here. So we'll craft this one here. Look at this. Wow, literally the same size as well as the other thing. They're gonna build it up. Welcome aboard. Woo, there we go. The second module. So it's independent of this guy, but I saw there was like a handle up here. So Pilot, the fabricator module. Hey. The freak, so we swim it around? All right, let me see what happens then. So around the back, because there's like a door. I swim this up right behind this guy here. <laughs> what? Hey, all right, hold up. Let me make the next one and then we'll attach that too. So this one is your storage module right here. Of course, important. This will help for those long journeys when we're getting the resources, man. Stocking them up, storing them back at bay. Let this thing splash in two. Then we'll attach this thing right behind, but it's amazing how you can personalize everything, you know? All right, so clip the student as well. Let's go, man. All right, so let me try and hop in this guy now. Right up front, enter the sea truck. Different animation. What? We got our own upgrade fabricator here. This is dope. This is so cool. So you can make all the different stuff in there. Then through here, we got our storage module, man. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. We can also exit through the back of it now, and I guess enter as well. Look at that. That's neat. What the freak? We've got all these new animations. Pilot's a little bit more stiff. Guess it slows the vehicle down. We are dragging more with us. That's so cool though. But it's kind of one of those things where like you put all the work in, but now I'm like, what? You know, I've, I've done it. So what do I want to do now? I kind of feel like that's it. <laughs> you know, I actually think based on the fact that we've worked so hard for this thing and now we're here, that's enough satisfaction for me as far as I'm concerned. We've got the different upgrades that we still need to look at. So let me pop this open. We've got the afterburner. Now, I think that might be like to uh, push the vehicle away, you know, use some torque or something like that, like a boost to get away from enemies, maybe. Uh, the upgrade energy efficiency, very self-explanatory. The horsepower. So that will be like a general speed boost. And then last but not least, we have the upgrade hull one. This is going to be pretty much like a multi-purpose. It's like a kind of like Cyclops slash Seamoth hybrid and what is this here? So disconnect modules. Oh fam, I'm good. I love how the seat pops up from the ground though like that. Really dope, man. Really, really cool. All right, guys. So I've kind of taken myself far away from my base, getting into the open plains of water. This is where I think I'm going to test out the new Leviathan class creature that you can spawn in. A lot want to see it. And I'm kind of curious too. I'm kind of nervous to do this if I'm honest, guys. I think what you do is you type in spawn and I'm going to paste this out here. If I press enter right now, that's basically it. That confirms everything. But hold on, let me get some breath. Then we're going to do it. All right, here we go. Okay, let's do this. Spawn chelicerate. It's a chelicerate. Go, go. Okay, could not phase chelicerate as tech type. Whatever that means, okay. If I press enter, we see the beast. Let's go. I hit that. <gasps> Jesus Christ. What? Look at the size of this thing! Oh my god! Dude, that went to open its mouth. Was that thing gonna consume me? Look how quick it is! It's gone! Like, just like that, it's gone! Whoa! This thing is crazy! Look at that thing snapping at the smallest of creatures, ignoring me. Hey, hey, hey! Don't be going over to my base! What the freak you doing? Yeah, come back this way. There you go, big fella. Look at the mouth on that thing, though. Like, what'd it do? Dang. Oh, I don't wanna know! I was literally joking about that. And then the game tells me I died. So now this thing's just out there roaming somewhere, but it's huge. So let me see if I can refind it. All right, guys, I've turned the hood off this time so we can really take a good look. So where's this guy at, huh? I know you're lurking around here somewhere. Reveal your face. Okay, I mean, or don't. It's up to you. I was just asking, but fine, whatever. Let's pop another one into existence. Woo! Dang, it's coming straight for me. Look at that. It's like hitting me with its head. Butting me almost. Oh, it wants to consume me straight up. Yeah, it doesn't leave off. It gets distracted by like other fish. But the animation and such is all there for it, you see? 
Now it's just a case of what biome you're gonna be in. Like, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> Bro, he just consumed that whole, like, school of fish like that. Yeah, man, this guy's insane. It would be a lot more intense in the biome, but this just gives you an idea of the scope they're going for. It's a pretty insane-looking thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, let me set it to night a second. Bro, in the night, you won't even see this thing coming. Look at this. That is insane. I, I can't even see what it is. Uh, what the freak are you doing with your scanner, though? That thing in the dead of night, oh my god! What? You can barely see it. Yeah, that's the least of my concerns right now, lady. Look at it as it swims away and you lose sight of it. Only for it to rush back into your plane of view. Yeah, this ain't a good monster, I'm just saying. Hit the auction, hit the auction. Okay, let's take a look underneath again. Oh my god, it's right there! <laughs> Oh, I'm done with this beast. Yeah, guys, this is the Chalicerate, I believe it's called. It's pretty dang insane. It kind of like retreats away and then always comes back at you really, really quick. That's going to be this monster's problem. It's speed. It will get you when you least expect it. But guys, this is where I'm going to end this episode of Subnautica Below Zero. So we upgraded a lot of stuff in the sea truck, explored the new biome. Also checked out the Chalicerate Leviathan, I think it's called. I can't even remember. The Chalicerate. Okay, got to get used to that. But yeah, guys, we're going to leave this one here and I hope you did enjoy. Uh, yeah, I'm out. If you did, why not drop me that like rating and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here i'm doing this with one hand guys i gotta flee so thank you so much for watching this video guys of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one right now seriously i think i've gotten away from it i mean i don't see it all right thank goodness